Hello! In this work, we introduce self-replay, a method that can solve everyday-like multi-stage tasks with one demonstration from scratch. Evidential learning should minimize the amount of human effort needed to teach a task. However, most imitation learning techniques still rely on substantial human effort in different phases. Behavior cloning requires tens or hundreds of demonstrations. Reinforcement learning, while able to learn to solve tasks guided by reward function, needs thousands of episodes and environment resets from the operator. Meta-learning methods, able to adapt in one shot at a time, still require substantial meta-training beforehand. Our method extends a course to find imitation learning framework introduced at ICRA 2021. Course to find imitation learning shifts the imitation learning paradigm from learning the full policy to learning to align an effector to the bottleneck pose. The bottleneck pose is the relative pose between the robot and the object at the beginning of the demonstration. The operator moves the end effector to provide a demonstration of how to interact with the object and hence solve the task starting from that pose. If the robot can accurately align itself to the pose in novel configurations of the environment, repeating the demonstration actions is enough to solve the task. We extend that method to tackle multi-stage tasks, therefore enabling it to solve a wide variety of everyday tasks. We decompose each task in a series of stages, and each stage is composed of a reaching or coarse phase and an interaction or fine phase. The human operator provides a single demonstration. For each stage, they move the end effector to the bottleneck pose, arbitrarily selected by the operator. Then, they move the end effector to manipulate the object at hand, providing a demonstration for the interaction phase, in this case, grasping the fork. This two-step procedure is repeated for each stage until the task is solved. Once the robot has received the demonstration, the human operator needs to reset the environment just once. After this step, all the data collection procedure is autonomous and self-supervised. The algorithm stores the bottleneck pose for each stage of the demonstration, and then the actions executed during the fine interaction phase. Since the goal of the robot is to reach the same relative pose with the object at test time, the bottleneck pose, during training, it moves around the environment, observing the object from different perspectives, learning to align with it from any relative pose. Using a wrist-mounted camera, only the relative pose between the end effector and objects influence the observation image. Therefore, moving the end effector has the same effect as moving the object to different positions and orientations, but the former can be done autonomously. When enough data has been gathered for a stage, the robot reaches the bottleneck and interacts with the object, as shown in the demonstration, moving on to the next stage. In this case, it grasps the fork. The data gathering steps are repeated for each stage. Our method is able to solve a series of everyday life tasks as shown in these videos. Here, we show a set of experiments we conducted in our home while the lab was not accessible due to COVID-19. We build a robot manipulator and gather a set of objects that mimic everyday tasks. Here, we show a demo of a two-stage tasks learned from a single demonstration on our Sawyer robot when we could access our lab again. Notice how the policy is robust to unseen distractors and novel configurations of the task. Here, we show a more complex task opening a box, grasping a cup, placing it inside the box and closing it. This task was also learned from a single human demonstration. This was presented live at the 5th Conference of Robot Learning, Corel, in London, UK, during one of the demo sessions. We compare self-replay with state-of-the-art imitation learning and reinforcement learning methods. In this plot, we see how the performance of each method evolves as a function of the operator's time spent on training the robot. As we show in this plot, our method is an order of magnitude more time efficient than the baselines. Our method is also more sample efficient thanks to the course to find the composition that allows the robot to focus on learning how to reach the bottleneck pose instead of trying to learn the full task. In this plot, we see how the performance of each method evolves as a function of the dataset size, gathered either as demonstrations, self-replay, or reinforcement learning exploration. 
Thank you. For more details, visit our website.